Hello and welcome to the grand final of the Beach Wrestling World Series 2022. After tour stops in Turkey, Spain, France and Greece, 119 of the world's best beach wrestlers from 19 nations have gathered at the famous Mamaya Beach in Constanta, Romania this weekend to crown their 2022 World Champions. Welcome to Romania. To the finals of the Beach Wrestling World Series. Beach wrestling for me is sun, fun, and big gun. Meeting all the international athletes, I knew that it was, I was going to be wrestling the top guys in the world, and I want to be part of those top guys in the world. I'm, I'm learning a lot right now. Yeah. You know, at this level, you, you really got to be on top of your game. When you get here, man, there's no room for error. Ah! Beach wrestling are the roots of our sport. It's where our sport started, wrestling on sand. And uh, uh, we are very, very proud of our heritage. We moved on to, to mats, but now we are projecting our future not only on mats, but also back to our roots. Coming, as one might, might say, coming full circle and uh, being uh, not only proud of uh, our uh, heritage and our past, but also really, really confident about our future. Beach wrestling differs significantly from Olympic wrestling on the mat, and not only because of the sandy ground. Obviously, the, 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 the environment is the, the, the first uh, the big difference. The sand uh, is a, a visible difference, but uh, the fact that we are wrestling on a moving uh, surface and not on a steady mat, uh, changes uh, the whole technical uh, setup of, uh, of uh, the event. I would say that beach wrestling is probably more spectator friendly because it's more dynamic, more fast paced, more easy to understand, more easy to relate. Meaning that after two matches with no explanation, every spectator can understand the rules. The biggest um, difference from mat wrestling and sand wrestling is definitely touching our knees because in freestyle wrestling on the mat if you touch your knee you can advance to even get a four point throw like off of that if you do it on the sand you don't get you lose a point so it's way different it's much more dynamic it's much more rapid the people like it much more because it's only three minutes and there's also much more tactic i think at least in these moments that the playa is going to start The fascination for me is that this wrestling discipline is affordable for everyone. And then the venues are unlimited. The whole coast of Africa is, for example, mostly in sand. And you can organize it everywhere. Uh, it doesn't require expensive setup of the venue. It doesn't ex require expensive stands and all this. So, the affordability of the sport and the price, the cost that the organizer may have are really reduced to a minimum, meaning that uh, we can have it practically everywhere on the globe. Sun, sea and sand. Beach wrestlers don't need much more to be able to hold their exciting competitions. And the rules are as simple as the concept. After a group stage, the competition continues in the knockout system from the quarterfinals onwards. A fight lasts a maximum of three minutes. Three points are required to advance to the next round. In the event of a tie at the end of the three minutes, the athlete who scored the last point wins. In the rare case of a nil-nil after three minutes, the athlete who weighs less wins.
One point is awarded for pushing the opponent out of the ring or if an athlete touches the sand with any part of their body other than their hands or feet. Three points and thus immediate victory are awarded for throwing the opponent on their back. As with all contact sports, beach wrestling is also fought in different weight classes to create equal opportunities. The athletes must therefore go to the weigh-in before the first fight to be classified into four different weight classes for men and women. Today's the big day, I'm ready for it. Ready. Let's go. After two days of competition with thrilling top-class fights, the 16 finalists have been determined. There is tension and nerves in the air. Now, it's all about the World Championship titles. The first final of the day is the women's 50 kilogram category, where Indian newcomer Kumari Hani faces Stefania Prisiputu. The Romanian has won all three tour stops so far in which he's participated. It's a big task for the inexperienced Indian. Prisiputu, who's also known as the Princess of Power because of her physique, shows her class straight away. She keeps Hani at a distance and gives her no chance to get a firm hold. There's some carelessness on Hani's part and Prisiputu literally has her in a headlock and then it happens. The Indian goes down 1-0 for Prisiputu. Kamari Hani has to fight back quickly. The fight is even, with both wrestlers finding it difficult to take control. Neither succeeds in getting their opponent's leg or setting a throw. Two minutes 30 are already up and now it's getting tight for Hani. But here she does it. She slightly unbalances Prisiputu and pulls her forward onto the sand. The first point for the Indian. A beautiful move. After two long days of competition, their strength is slowly fading. So it's once again a matter of full concentration. Prisiputu almost manages to push her opponent out of the ring, but Hani just manages to save herself. In return, Hani succeeds in scoring her second point shortly before the time runs out. She pushes the favourite out of the ring. This is victory for Kumari Hani. She almost can't believe she's won against the big favourite, Stefania Prisiputu. What an upset. I am really happy that I won the gold medal today. I'm grateful that I could deliver what my coach in India taught me. Also, the coaches we have here were really helpful. I am just very happy. Prisiputu can take comfort in the fact she's been crowned the 2022 world champion. Having won the silver in this event, it's her second title in a row. I felt well, but unfortunately, I had a little injury that hampered me a bit in the final fight. Also, probably because I competed here at home, in front of my family and my friends, I felt a little bit nervous. Still, I am so glad that I won the World Championship title again. Next up is Ramiz Hasanov from Azerbaijan against Levan Kelek Sashvili from the Georgian Republic a duel of the giants in the men's 70 kilogram final. Both have reached the podium at all tour stops so far. The Georgian has even taken home victory three times. The winner of this fight will be crowned world champion. Both of them get going instantly and it takes only 15 seconds until Ramiz Hasanov puts his opponent in the sand for the first time. A great move from Hasanov that earns him the first point. Speed and dynamics distinguish both wrestlers. 
Hasanov manages to grab Kelek Sashvili's leg and throw him to the ground. That is already 2-0 for the man from Azerbaijan. Or is it? The slow motion shows that Hasanov touched the ground first with his head. Point for the Georgian equaliser. <laughs> Technically, the fight is at the highest level. Ramiz Hasanov gets himself into a good position again and grabs the leg of Levan Kelek Sashvili. But Kelek Sashvili shows all his class and skillfully outwits the Azerbaijani. A fantastic counter attack. The Georgian takes the lead again, 2-1. He is only one point away from the World Championship title. And that's when it happens. Levan Kelexashvili throws Ramiz Hasanov to the ground again. However, the referee wants to have a closer look at the situation in the replay. After a short consultation phase, it is clear that the point does not go to Kelexashvili, but to the Azerbaijani. Kelexashvili touched the sand with his knee first. The score is 2 2. It could hardly be more exciting. The last point of the year will decide the World Championship title. Hasanov seems to have found a good position, but the experienced Georgian turns cleverly and now only has to push his opponent out of the ring. If he manages it, the fight is over. Hasanov gives everything to get out of this predicament. A fantastic fight. Levin Kelek Sashvili takes victory in Konstanta and with it, his third World Championship title in a row. It was certainly a great competition. To all the wrestlers, I would like to wish the best of luck. The environment is very positive and I'm very happy that I've become three-time world champion now. It's a great honor and success for me. And I would like to thank Beach Wrestling for bringing me such happiness. Back to the women. The fight for the gold medal in the 60 kilogram category is coming up. Irina Kariv from Ukraine against local hero Elena Ionescu. With three wins and a second place so far this year, the Ukrainian is the clear favorite. She immediately shows her ambition with her dynamism and excellent technique. She outdistances the Romanian after only a few seconds and pushes her onto the sand. One nil for Irina Kariv. And then instantly, Kariv has her hands on Ionescu's head and neck again and pulls her to the ground. The Romanian has both knees in the sand. That's already a second point for Irina Kariv after only 15 seconds of fighting time. It is going to be very difficult for Ionescu to recover. She gives it her all, but doesn't manage to get a firm hold. On the contrary, Irina Kariv unbalances Ionescu again and throws her out of the ring. That was a very short final. Irina Kariv wins with aplomb. It's 3-0 after only 30 seconds. The reward? The Ukrainian wins the tour stop and takes the World Championship title. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. I'm very pleased. I made unforgettable experiences because I took part in the Beach Wrestling World Series events for the first time. I really enjoyed it. It was a very interesting experience for me. I'm incredibly happy that I took part in the World Series and that I was invited to participate here. I sincerely thank the All Ukrainian Beach Wrestling Federation and everyone who was a part of this event. Nika Kenchadzi from Georgia and Saba Vida of Hungary made it to the final of the men's 80 kilogram category. Unfortunately, the Hungarian injured himself during his victory in the semi-final and cannot compete in the final at short notice. Without a final fight, Nika Kenchadzi from Georgia is the winner of the tour stop and the new world champion. A well-deserved title nevertheless, because with three wins and one second place, Nika Kenchadze has dominated the competition this year. This was my first time winning the series. It was a tough competition, but I was prepared and I won. 
Needless to say, I'm very happy and I will definitely continue to compete in the future and do my best to win the championship again. I want to thank the people who organised the event as well as everyone for supporting me. In addition to fitness, muscle strength and skill, it is above all the right technique that decides between victory and defeat. A very popular judging category, in addition to the main competition, is therefore the so-called top technique category, where the audience votes via social media for the best throwing techniques of the weekend. In the women's event, Maria Baez Dillon from Spain had the best throw of the weekend. Mahmoud Ozkaya from Turkey takes the men's top technique title. As a welcome reward, both receive a trophy and a check for a thousand euros. Back to the finals, and it's an all Bulgarian duel on the cards. Mimi Christova and Sofia Georgieva will fight for the day's victory in the 70 kilogram category. For the two Bulgarians, it's their first appearance at the World Series this year, so it's all the more impressive that they both made it to the final. And there it is, an excellent throwing technique by Mimi Histrova. It's good to see in slow motion. She blocks Georgieva's right hand, turns in and throws her over her shoulder onto her back. That means a clear three-point score and the early victory for Mimi Histrova. The competition is very good. I'm happy I took part at the beach series. I trained a lot for this and I'm happy I won. My opponents were pretty good and in the final, the other girl was even Bulgarian as well. Adini Arima from Romania was already close to becoming world champion before the final. It was a hard competition for me with very strong opponents and difficult fights, so I'm glad that I finished the series as the winner. And I'm proud that I won the title here in Romania. In the next fight, Ibrahim Yusubov meets Farid Jabarov, both from Azerbaijan. This is the final of the men's 90 kilogram category. But unfortunately, he too cannot compete in the final due to an injury. This means Ibrahim Yusubov secures the victory here in Constanta and is also crowned 2022 world champion. Yusubov put in outstanding performances throughout the season. Two golds, one silver and one bronze medal speak a very clear language. Yes, I'm so happy. The competition was very strong. The matches were really tight. But we'd done such good training with our head coach, Oyan Nazariani, and Aga Hussein Mustafayev. This training helped us so much with our results. We were ready for this. Next up, it's the final of the women's over 70 kilograms, and it's Lidmula Pavlovets Tiknia from Ukraine against Katalina Aksem from Romania. Axon is the reigning world champion, and this year she's already won three of the four tour stops. Her biggest rival has always been the Ukrainian. A worthy final for the world championship title. Both wrestlers vie for control of their opponent. However, neither of them really succeeds. Both are physically extremely strong and technically well-trained. Of course, tactics also play a decisive role. No athlete wants to make a mistake. In the final, as balanced as this one, that can quickly lead to defeat. After a phase of sussing each other out, the battle suddenly picks up speed. The Romanian accidentally hits her opponent on the back of the head. This is not allowed, of course, and she is penalised by the referee. Pavlovets Tikhna now gets a warning for inactivity. Another warning and her opponent will get a point. <laughs> 
Alexon now tries to get a hold on Pavlovets Technia's head. Again, she blocks very passively and therefore gets a second warning. This means a valuable point for the local heroine, 1-0. The Ukrainian doesn't have much time left to equalise. There are only 35 seconds left on the clock. She has to risk more if she wants to win the title here. Oh, and there it is, Pavlovets Tignia's mistake. When approaching a hold on Axon's leg, the Romanian counters and unbalances her. The experienced Romanian takes advantage of this and pushes Pavlovets Tignia out of the ring. Only a few seconds left on the clock. Now only a three-point score can save her. Pavlovets Tikhonov tries everything. She grabs Axon's leg and tries to apply a throwing technique, but the fight is over. The victory and hence also the world championship title go to the Romanian. It was a great competition, but so hard. I'm very glad I won the title. I was so nervous because I was competing at home in Romania in front of fans, family and the staff of the Wrestling Federation. They support us, but I felt nervous because I didn't want to let them down. Now it's the turn of the heavy boys in the 90 kilogram category. Fatih Yasali from Turkey and Mamuka Kordzaya from Georgia will face each other in the last final of the day. A true duel of the Giants. Both have dominated the series this year. Yasali has won two golds and one silver. Kordzaya, two golds, one silver and one bronze. Despite their height and mass, both wrestlers are extremely fast and dynamic, showing excellent footwork. Yasali gets the upper hand. He pulls Kordzaya forward and grabs his leg from behind. A good position for the Turk. He pushes the Georgian to the ground. 1-0 for Yasali. Yasali continues to apply pressure. A wonderful leg technique. He skillfully leveraged Kordzaya through it and throws him to the ground. In slow motion, you can clearly see the perfect execution. 2-0 for the Turk. The title is within reach, but the Georgian is certainly not beaten yet. Anything can still happen. If Yasali doesn't pay attention for a second, the title he thought would safe could be gone. Of course, strategically, Yasali is now more passive and cautious in order not to risk any three-point scores. And that was it, the third point for the Turk, Fatih Yasali. He mercilessly exploits a little inattention of Mamuka Kordzaya and pushes him out of the ring. A clear 3-0, a truly deserved victory for the Turk. Thank you very much. The event in Romania was very good. Yesterday we started in rainy weather, but today was sunny and perfect. I want to thank the UWW family as well. Yesterday I didn't feel very well because I don't like to wrestle in cold conditions. I did one fight yesterday and five today. I won all of them. And I hope I can get a gold medal in Bali next year. I will be training hard to be the champion in Bali. Eight outstanding athletes. Eight athletic masterpieces. Eight world champions. Proud and overjoyed, they receive their medals. The hard work and sacrifice has paid off. This is the moment they have worked so hard for. Of course, the obligatory champagne shower is not to be missed. Congratulations to all the world champions. That's it from the finals of the Beach Wrestling World Series 2022. Thrilling competitions on the beautiful beach of Constanta, Romania come to an end. The sport has come back to its roots.
people that's walking around on the beach can just walk up and they should be able to kind of understand what's going on, you know? A push out's one. You drop them down, that's one. You go to their back, it's over. And that's why I think beach wrestling is going to grow faster than any other style out there. That's why I love beach wrestling. In 2023, the Beach Wrestling World Series will be back again with great tour stops on beautiful beaches. We hope you'll be there. Until then, thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.